what's going on folks welcome back to another hey techie video for all of you out there who are joining us for the very first time a particularly special welcome to you here at hey techie we're interested in all things smart home with a particular focus on the an apple home kit ecosystem now if that sounds good and sounds like something that you're interested in make sure that you smash that subscribe button down below and hit the bell icon to make sure you get notified whenever my videos go live in the search to expand my smart home experience beyond the usual lights, speakers, that kind of bells and whistles, I've been in the market for a robot smart hoover. It's a pretty big market worth about 9 billion US dollars, but I've always been a little intimidated by the choices on offer. Also, not many robot hoovers explicitly brand themselves as being integratable with a smart home setup, let alone with an Apple HomeKit ecosystem. But when Robert reached out to me with an offer to review their R3000 model, I was intrigued and having snowballed a few ideas about how we could integrate it into my setup, they very kindly sent me out a model to review. The full review video will be coming out in a couple of weeks once I've had more time to get to know the Hoover, but for now, here's my initial thoughts about the Robert R3000 and how I'm getting it to work in my Apple smart home. The Robert R3000 Robot Vacuum Cleaner is presented in this rather large white box, designed to protect your new robot friend within. The box is quite big, so it was a little hard for me to film, but once you get the box open, you'll find the paperwork neatly presented on top, thanking you for your purchase. Inside this pouch, you'll find the instruction manual or user guide for the product, which is a must read because it tells you exactly how to look after your new Hoover. It also includes a quick operating guide and a list of faults which your Hoover might encounter as it works its way through cleaning your home. Inside the box, you'll see the Robert R3000 dominating the proceedings, but around the edges you'll find the various accessories you may need down the line. There's a spare filter for the Hoover, and you can buy more separately should you so wish. The infrared remote control, and that's going to be important later on. Two AAA batteries for said remote a wall plug for the R3000 dock with a circular pin, and underneath the robot itself is the charging dock, as well as a little cleaning tool and four spinning brushes, two to attach right away and two spare for use later. Upon taking the protective bag off the robot, I was struck with its very sleek design. I also noticed immediately that the power button on top was a touch control one and not a physical button as I had hoped. Now this is because I had originally planned to mount a SwitchBot bot on top of the Hoover, giving me Siri integrated control at the expense of additional thickness of the device. So I had to go away and think of another plan. If we turn the Robert R3000 over, we can see its workings underneath. There's a red master switch which controls the power supply of the battery powered robot. It's powered by a 2600 milliamp hour lithium ion battery, which takes about five to six hours to charge to these two metal connectors at the front of the device. And that offers you about two hours of cleaning. Now, in my preliminary tests, the robot actually exceeded that, offering nearly 130 minutes instead. But I'm gonna go into these test results in full during my review video. But for short term use, I'm very satisfied with its performance so far. To the edges we see two small white pegs on which you'll need to mount two cleaning brushes, which sweep the dust and crumbs into the middle of the hoover's path and onto the roller in the middle. The roller is removable so that you can clean it easily. And finally then, at the bottom there is the dust box, which has about 500 millilitres of space. Now it's not huge and considering the quite considerable suction power of the robot, this fills up quite quickly, but it does do its job well. In the top of the dust box itself is a HEPA filter, or a high efficiency particulate air filter, which helps to filter out any pollutant that the Hoover drags up as it works. Robert also offer replacement brushes, rollers and filters for the Hoovers as well. And this is very welcome, but it does leave the Hoover susceptible to being phased out whenever Robert decide to chain up their design. Well then, how did I go about integrating this robot hoover with my Apple smart home? Well, unlike other robot hoovers on the market, the Robert R3000 doesn't have Wi-Fi on board, so we can't connect it that way. 
As I mentioned earlier, I had originally planned to use a SwitchBot bot on the top of the device, but because it's not a physical button, that wouldn't work either. However, if I utilised another pre-existing element of my smart home, I found that I was easily able to link the robot to Siri. If you look back at my original SwitchBot video, which you can click on the link above to be taken to, you'll see that I took a few minutes to talk about the SwitchBot hub, and I even noted that it's worthy of a video in its own right. The SwitchBot hub has smart learning on board, which allows you to connect any infrared remote to the hub itself. Now this is genius, because the SwitchBot hub therefore can operate the Robit Hoover. The SwitchBot app itself does have an option to add in robot hoovers, and there are 10 preset configurations for you to choose from. Now sadly, none of these options work with the Robit R3000, but you can still set up your own controls manually anyway, which is easily done, it's just a little more work. Upon getting onto the learning screen, once the small light disappears, simply press the Robot Remote button's command that you want to sync to the hub, and it's quickly connected to the SwitchBot system. Then, using Siri shortcuts, a voice command can be linked to the Hoover itself. Now, the only downside to this is, is that firstly, it can take a little bit of time for the order to go through, and secondly, the Hoover must be within the infrared range of the SwitchBot hub. So starting up the Hoover is usually very easy since it's docked nearby, but calling the robot home to dock and recharge can be somewhat problematic. However, since the robot knows to return to its dock when the battery falls low anyway, the ability to send the robot home with Siri isn't exactly the most important feature you might need. So there you have it folks, there's my unboxing of the Robert R3000 and how I integrated it into my Apple Smart Home. As I mentioned earlier on, the full review will be filmed over the next few weeks, once I've had a chance to test out all of its features for myself and I'm able to present an informed opinion to you all. My thanks must go once again to Robert for sending out this Hoover for me to review. Here at Heytechie, we hold ourselves to the highest standard, so even though companies may send us products to review, you, our viewers, can rest assured that we still undertake our responsibility seriously. All of the opinions expressed are 100% my own, and I refuse to work with any company who won't respect the independent nature of my reviews. So, what do you think of this robot Hoover? Would you be interested in picking one up now that you know it can be easily integrated into your Apple Smart Home? I'm interested to see what you think, so let me know in the comments down below. Remember, if you haven't done so already, make sure to pop this video a like, leave me a comment down below and smash that subscribe button and notification bell too so you'll never miss another Hey Techie video. If you want to get involved with the channel even a little bit more, make sure to head on over to Instagram where you can follow us at Hey Techie and you can vote every Friday for the content of next week's video. Until next time, I've been Steven for Hey Techie.